the pet effect. Time spent with cats is never wasted. Sigmund Freud. Part 1. Kittens. Hi, welcome to our video. Um, I'm Gabe Waldrip. I ran the whole thing. The story begins at this wonderful, awesome house. It's big, it's flowers, it has a basement, a big basement that you can go in that's not infested with bugs and cold hard floor. As you can see, there is my mom with a snow collar shirt, even though she works at Weber State, in front of the awesome, most amazing house you could think of. This is the awful, gloomy house we moved into. With with bugs and rats living in the basement. <sighs> Gives you the creeps, doesn't it? <laughs> the best thing that we got in this house was the cat that we inherited from the former owners. It had kittens a lot. The socks. I want to introduce you to Socks, the mama cat. She likes to eat cameras. Yeah. And, and she turns away and she wants another taste a lot of the time. This mama cat socks had her kittens way up in the attic of the garage. And once they were old enough, they had to jump down all alone. This is what it looks like when they bravely jump down. The kittens in this picture are black sean or and burnt polar bear playing in the front and back there in the blue house is Oreo. That is not our cat. I need to introduce you to my dad. He's the guy on the right. My dad never liked cats, but when they came down from the attic, they were so wild that he just had to tame them. As you can see on his arm right there, that is what happens when you try to tame a wild cat. He always claims that he doesn't like cats, and then he goes and spends two hours at night with them. So I'm pretty sure he's a closeted cat lover. Scientists have found that when a person pets their cat or dog, their brain releases stress-reducing hormones. In other words, a pet can make you less stressed out. This is my dad de-stressing. When the kittens first jumped out of the attic, I thought, I'm going to save those kittens. What I didn't know at the time was those kittens were going to save me. What's going on here is called the pet effect. The pet effect is the human-animal bond that positively impacts the health and well-being of both fieldmen. I don't know any of these cats, but in a survey of pet owners, 74% of pet owners reported mental health improvements from pet ownership, and 75% of Pet owners reported a friend or family member's mental health has improved because of pets in their lives. This means pets make people happier. Dogs are way better than cats because they're more playful. Sir, do you have a comment about cats? Part 2, Connie and Jesse. Our family has a dear neighbor that we have adopted. We call her Grandma Connie. This summer, she turned 91 years old. Here we are at Eden Alamuk taking her out for ice cream on her birthday. No, she did not have 91 candles in her ice cream cone. This is me and my brother Samuel at the ice cream place. This is Connie in a rehab hospital after she toppled over in her kitchen a few weeks ago and cracked her hip. Guess what she missed the most about home? You guessed it, her cat, Jessie, who is actually a very unfriendly cat. Jessie is a very strange, mysterious cat who likes nobody but Connie. 
Having Jesse around helps Connie a lot. In addition to companionship, pets give their elderly owners a sense of purpose. She, I beck at Al. Okay, so even though Jesse wakes you up multiple times a night, do you think that it's still worth the bother? Yes. Okay, well, how come? Well, I don't want her piddling on my bed. I don't want her piddling on the carpet. So, it works out fine for us. How does Jessie help you in your life? She gives me affection. And I guess that's mostly the way she does it, just to give me affection. In her own way, of course. In her own cat way? Yeah. Okay. Cats are like music. It's foolish to try to explain their worth to those who don't appreciate them. Annan.